y'all welcome and welcome back and if you're new here my name is morgan and here we talk about all things spooky we talk about some scary stories that have been sent in to me my own scary stories scary movies scary books folklore it's a little bit of everything here and i'd love to have you if that sounds cool obviously i'm on youtube but i'm also on tiktok instagram and patreon and i will leave all of that linked below as well as where to send me scary stories to read if you have any that you'd like for me to share but a series that i have absolutely fallen in love with doing on here is something called hidden gem horror which is what we're going to be doing today where i talk about a movie that i don't think enough people are talking about and I think that you should go watch them immediately because they're all my favorites. Now if you have followed me on TikTok for any amount of time you know about this movie because I literally do not shut up about it ever. Listen I recommended this to Lauren Lavera who plays um, Sienna in Terrifier on Twitter. I didn't at the movie at all I just like said the dark and the wicked ended up that their official account followed me on Twitter and it was the highlight of my freaking life, okay? I was like, this is my moment. No one will take it from me. But I cannot recommend this movie enough and the fact that it does not get talked about consistently really irritates me because it is such a well done movie. But let's get into The Dark and the Wicked. Now The Dark and the Wicked is a Shudder film. Um, it came out around the pandemic, I believe. I just know I had never heard of it, but the pandemic was like starting to let up to where movie theaters were opening up again and I remember scrolling on a local theater's website to try and find something to go see because I just wanted to get out of the house with my husband and we saw this movie playing and I was like that looks good we didn't read anything about it we just saw the poster so we go into this theater and it's a little rundown movie theater we are the only ones in there it is so dark there's no safety measures in this place okay there's no like little night lights so that you can see I apologize. I get excited about this movie. There's no little lights you can see walking around. It's nothing. It's dark. It's dark and it was just us in there. Okay. So we sit down and we watch this movie that is centered around a grown up brother and sister that have to return home to their childhood farm because their father is at the end of his life and they show up to help their mom and you know say goodbye to their dad. But something is wrong with this farm and something is wrong with their mom and dad. There's actual evil on this freaking farm. Something is wrong. When I tell you guys that this movie scared me so bad that at one point I was out of my seat in that movie theater and I was in the floor, like behind the other seats. I'm being so serious. Um, I think it was a worker, but someone just randomly walked in there during the movie and I think it caused permanent heart damage on me. I really do. I don't think I've ever been that scared in my life. This movie it is jump scary, but just the overall vibrations are so low that you are just terrified from the moment it starts to the moment it ends and then way after. Like this is one that you're thinking about way after. And I am a bad friend. I know that seems out of left field, but let me tell you what I do. Okay, so if you are in my little circle, there are certain little initiations that I do that are fun for me. And I assume they're fun for everyone, but they're not, they're not. And I really need to comprehend that. But you will be taken to haunted locations with me and um, I will show you movies that will scar you for life in ways that will also scar you even further. So I had a few friends over and I was like, um, we have a projector. I have a very already notoriously haunted farm in the Appalachian Mountains that my family owns. We are gonna go there and watch The Dark and the Wicked for the first time, you guys for the first time. So we go there, we put this movie up on the side of the barn. There's no light on that farm. It is so dark, it is so scary. This movie's already taking place on a dark and scary farm. I don't think I have ever seen anyone get that scared in my life. It scared me. I'd already seen the movie. This was like my eighth watch of the movie. I own this movie on DVD. I love it so much. But this was already like my eighth watch of it and I was petrified. Never felt fear like fear. Never felt fear like that. Jesus Christ. But I hope you do watch this movie and I hope you love it. And I will see you tomorrow where I tell you some scary stories and then we will be back to highlight another scary movie next week.